All right, we are going to be doing Donut Detective Levels 9 through 17 today, since we already did the 1 through 8. So I scroll down and click on Donut Detective, and that will bring me to view the 9 through 17 levels. Now, if I need to get back to the 1 through 8 levels to maybe get three stars on something that I only got two stars on, I just scroll back, and that will bring me to levels 1 through 8. If I need to get back to levels 9 through 17, I just scroll to this way and I am back to the levels 9 through 17. So I want to show level 11 here. I want to talk about that one. You guys will start off on level 9 and do them all in order. I just want to show level 11 here. So the first thing we need to do whenever we're doing one of these puzzles is we need to understand the task. We need to understand the problem and what I'm supposed to do. You need to get all of your gems first and then get the pet. If you get the pet before you get all of the gems, you will not get three stars. So that's the first thing we need to do is understand the problem. After we understand the problem, then we need to come up with a plan to solve that problem. And this is where I put my code right on this code bar down here. So I'm going to put the code that is going to get Gracie from the start all the way through to get all of these gems and then get that pet. So the first thing I need to do is think about what Gracie needs to do. And she's starting off right there. So the first thing she's going to do is jump up here. And then I'll put that command there. So when I start out, I don't just start throwing stuff up here and hope that it works. I want to go through each step. I like to use my pointer or my finger to show exactly where Gracie is going to be. So after this jump right, she's going to be right there. Then I need to jump right again, which will put me all the way up to here. And from here, I'm going to jump another right down to here. And then I'm going to, right now, let's just check that out. So I'm, I have three jump rights, one jump right, two jump rights, three jump rights. Now, do you see how I did that there? I'm using my pointer to show exactly where Gracie's going to be so I can figure out where she needs to go. So I'm going to do another jump right here, which will put me right here. Now I need to get back up to here to get that pet. So I'm going to jump left, which will put me right here, jump left again, which will put me right here, and then I'm going to jump up. And that will put me right to the pet. So I understand the problem, I get a plan, and after I get a plan, I test it out. So to test my plan, I give Gracie a poke. And whenever I test my plan, I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn if my plan worked or if my plan didn't work. If my plan doesn't work, I need to figure out the things that did work and fix the things that didn't work. So let's give this a test and see what happens. So give Gracie a poke. She jumps right. Jumps right, jumps right, ooh. So it did not work as I wanted. I only have two stars there. So because I only have two stars, I need to figure out exactly why my plan didn't work. I'm going back to the curly arrow. And this time I want to watch and see exactly where my code didn't work. And I want to keep what's right. So I'm going to give Gracie a poke. So she jumps right, jumps right. Ooh, on that third jump right, she hits the pet and gets the pet before she gets all of her gems. So I'm going to go back and I'm not going to delete everything. I'm going to keep the stuff that was right. So the first two jump rights, they worked. So I'm going to get rid of all of this stuff. And now the jump right and jump right puts me right there. And I can't jump right a third time or I'm going to hit that pet. 
and it's going to stop me from getting all of my gems before I get that pet. So I'm not going to tell you what the next thing is, but when you're doing these, that's the process you want to do. You want to make sure you understand the problem, that you need to get all those gems before the pet. Then you get a plan, put your code down here. And when you're getting that plan, make sure you use your pointer or your finger to show exactly where Gracie's going to be and exactly what she's going to do. And after that plan, give Gracie a poke to test that plan. And then you can figure out what's right and figure out what's wrong. If it worked, that's awesome. If it didn't, you need to figure out what was right and figure out what was wrong in order to make that make that uh, plan work. So good luck on these puzzles. Remember, Gracie needs to go from the start all the way to getting all the gems and then get the pet in one click. If I give Gracie more than one click, she is going to lose a star and we need to redo it. If you get three stars, go on to the next puzzle. If you don't get three stars, make sure you hit your curly arrow to redo. All right, good luck.